Ralph Waldo Emerson wrote, what I must do is what concerns me and not what other people think. What is it that concerns you that you have done lately? You did it because it pleased you. You dressed because that is the way you want to dress. You took a course of study because it is where you know or what you know that you can do, you can excel therein. What is it that you did because you knew it was the right thing for you to do? Not that you were influenced by your friends to do it. A lot of us live our lives for our friends. We dress for our friend. Our choices and meals are the ones approved by our friends. The courses we take in school is what our friends want us to do. If it is an elective courses, we go by where our friends or those people we want to be accepted in, where they are. If one of them says, I am not going to do this, it influences your own choice of a course. When will you begin to live your life for yourself? A man wrote that if you do not control your destiny, other people will control it for you. Imagine when you begin to go in an opposite direction that you do not want to go. It will take you time to arrive at the exact point where you have desired to be. It makes your journey very long. It takes time. How long will you continue to be influenced by your friend? You're welcome to our team TV one. I am Azuke Go Ide. Today we will be looking at self-confidence. Self-confidence is an essential part of our living. My sister put up on her wall, she said that self-confidence is an accessory you must wear. You must have to put on your clothes or your apparel of self-confidence before you leave the house. Why must you wear your self-confidence before you leave your house? If you do not wear your self-confidence, you will go by every wind of doctrine. You enter a place of, a, of an occasion, people will climb on your shoulders to watch the event. Why you go home without seeing a thing that happened on that day? Why is it that we don't wear our self-confidence when we leave our house? I will want to have your opinion at the comment section. To me, I feel that most of our problem stem from our not being comfortable or confident in whom we are and what we can do. A lot of us don't have faith in ourselves. We allow faith to carry us through. We don't have faith. We don't believe we can do without this person or without the other person. We believe that those people are an essential part of our living. But let me ask you a question again. Are you those people part of living? Can't those people do without you? If they can't do without you, then you can do without them. But if they can do without you, you also can do without them. You can achieve it when you stand alone. You can see be whom you chose to be alone. And let me tell you something. When you begin to excel in that field, you will see them coming back to you. But as long as you tag along under their own program or with their own program, you will always eat the bread of sorrow. How do I know that I have self-confidence? When I am able to take risks, when I'm able to, when I improve myself daily on my person and my profession, when I improve daily, when I go to an occasion, not minding the fact that no person is with me, nobody is tagging along with me. And when I get to the place of the event, I feel comfortable. I watch every event. I take in everything that is going on and I go home satisfied that I did what I want to do. When I get up after I have failed, when I take failure as part of my life, when I can stand alone in the crowd, 
even when there are so many dissenting voices around me. But I know it is the truth and it is my opinion and I stand by it and I am willing to defend it. I know that I have self-confidence. How do I know that I don't have self-confidence? When you always want to be at a place with someone, you can't stand alone in the crowd. You cannot voice what you want and what you do not want. You cannot differentiate. You cannot set a boundary and make sure that nobody crosses it. When you depend on someone making a decision, you don't have self-confidence. When you always put yourself down before people, how can I improve on my self-confidence? I need to first of all identify what is it that makes me not to be proud of myself. What am I lacking? Once identified, I need to change my mindset towards it.